All right, welcome back everybody. So uh, today I'm going to show you a little problem that we see a lot of on uh, later emissions model trucks, the trucks with your DPFs, FCRs, etc. So we're going to show you this and uh, show you how to fix it and some different options and go from there. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ryan and I own a commercial truck and trailer shop in Canton, Ohio. I've been in the business for about 20 years, also been an owner operator for a few years. So if you're a driver, owner operator, I know what you're going through out there. We put out videos on truck repair, maintenance, and also a little bit of trucking business. So enjoy the video and we'll get started. Okay, so we've got a uh, downpipe here out of an International Pro Star. International, you know, my favorite truck is a little bit different than everybody else for some reason. On a lot of your uh, your KWs, Freightliners and whatnot, they've got this section with two clamps on it here. And there's a reason why. With International, you gotta buy this whole thing. And this goes from your turbo on down to your DOC, which is sitting behind me there, which starts your whole basically after treatment system. So this unit here on this ProStar, this was the cheaper version, the fleet right version that International sells. And it was still like, over $800. So if you go to, to KW, like on my older T660, I had to replace this joint. It was like $200 for a TRP one or something. So a lot cheaper to fix. So I'm gonna show you what uh, is actually wrong here. And uh, one of the symptoms that you'll notice is you park your truck after you drive for a while and you notice some exhaust or you smell something over on the passenger side of your truck, kind of over up by the back of the engine, there's a good chance is this unit right here, which this is like a bellows or flex pipe basically for that when your engine's moving, you know, that way it has a place to move. So it's not all rigid, you'd break your exhaust. So this is where the flex happens from the torque from your engine. So I'm gonna show you what actually happened here and uh, why you're seeing that exhaust leak and all that. This video is brought to you by our friends at Trucker Path, America's most popular app for truck drivers. Millions of truckers all over the country use Trucker Pass to find the closest truck stop, available parking, way station, fuel stops, trip planning, and truck safe routing. Download Trucker Pass today with the link in the description below. Okay, so you'll notice on this flex pipe here, there's, it's clean, kind of clean up here, then clean down here, and right in the middle, it's all black and there was soot. And you can actually see some shiny pieces in there. And there, there was some little chunks sticking out here a minute ago, but I kind of fiddled around with them and pushed them back in there. So that tells us one of these joints in here is broken and you're losing exhaust here. So that's a, a major issue with any after treatment, you know, modern after treatment system because they're designed to have a certain amount, a certain temperature and a certain amount of exhaust back pressure for that system to work properly. So if you've got a major leak here, for one, that could be going up into your cab and it's asphyxiating you. I mean, that's, that's not very good. And two, your emission system or after treatment system isn't gonna work the way that it's supposed to. So we'll show you what a new one looks like and what kind of, you can get, a, get a, the new one, you can get a little bit better idea because it has a different, you know, protective material on it. Okay, so here's the new one. And as you can see, this kind of flexes back and forth. And these are each individual pieces that are, that are crimped together. So what's happened is one of those has broken loose and then with the amount of exhaust pressure, it can actually, with heat and everything else in there, it actually causes them to break apart. Then you get a more major exhaust leak. Okay, so we're gonna kind of pull some of this back here and actually see how the extent of this leak So you can see it's kind of hard to see in there, but there's a whole, whole section of that that's missing out of there. Because if you remember on the new one, those were all closed up. Yeah, that's all, all moving around inside there. So that's a pretty major leak for the most part. So like I said, a symptom of this is you're gonna see that exhaust over on your uh, passenger side. And then uh, your truck is probably gonna be regening or trying to regen a lot more than usual because it's not gonna be getting to the temp that it needs to and it's not gonna have the pressure. So and like I said, this is a relatively cheap fix and uh, on other trucks other than an International Pro Star, uh, you can buy just this section, I think, uh, for Freightliners, I know for Kenworth, for Peterbilt, you can get to, like a TRP version of this or an aftermarket. I've seen them like as cheap as like $150 on up, you know, to a couple hundred. 
So they're not too expensive, two clamps, relatively easy to fix for a, a DIY person and uh, can save you a lot of heartache down the road. So uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, like I said, pretty simple thing. Like I said, if you're seeing that exhaust leak, or like, again, if the truck's regening a lot, I get over there on this passenger side of the engine, uh, get, follow your turbo down and look for this joint and see if it's got that nasty soot all over it. If it does, you know, that's the culprit. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for today. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for all the support, comments, and all that. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, hit the bell for the updates, and like the video. So thanks again, we'll see you next time.